Hello and welcome to Morbid Crime Stories. If you enjoy our stories, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We would love to hear what you thought about this story, so please leave your comments below. Thank you and enjoy. <laughs> Unraveling the tragic saga of Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins, the Bega schoolgirl murders. In the serene, picturesque landscapes of Bega, a small dairy town nestled in the southern region of New South Wales, Australia. A chilling narrative unfolded in October 1997 that would shatter its idyllic facade forever. At the heart of this grim tale were two vibrant lives cut tragically short, Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins, young schoolgirls whose aspirations and dreams were brutally extinguished. Before becoming indelibly etched into Australia's collective memory as victims of one of the most harrowing crimes, Lauren and Nicole were much like any other teenagers, full of life, laughter, and boundless potential. Lauren was known for her radiant smile that could light up any room she entered. A kind-hearted soul with compassion running deep through her veins, she aspired to make a difference in the world around her. Nicole was equally charismatic but wielded a spirit as fierce as it was free, an adventurous mind always on the lookout for new challenges to conquer. Together they embodied youthfulness at its very peak, exuberant spirits navigating their way through teenage intricacies while cherishing each ordinary miracle life presented. But little did anyone know that their routine journey home would pivot so catastrophically from a safe return to unimaginably horrific circumstances. The intersection where innocent dreams meet unspeakable reality is fraught with questions that probe at our moral fibers. How does such evil manifest amongst us? What can be gleaned from unraveling these tangled threads of cruelty? This article aims not just to recount but also understand deeply, beyond mere facts, about what truly happened during those fateful days leading to their untimely demise. Join us on this somber journey into understanding more than just who Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins were before tragedy struck them down but venture deeper beneath surface-level narratives toward gaining insights veiled behind tears shed by all whom these girls loved dearly. Lindsay Hawani Beckett, before entwining his fate with the Bega schoolgirl murders, maneuvered through life on what many would characterize as the peripheries of morality and legality. His descent into infamy was neither abrupt nor unforeseen by those acquainted with his troubled past. From a young age, encounters with the juvenile justice system hinted at an unsettling pattern of behavior that escalated in severity over time. The chain of petty crimes gradually morphed into more sinister acts painting a prelude to his eventual leap into heinous criminality. What pushed Beckett from being merely a delinquent to becoming one half of a duo responsible for such grave atrocities? It was Leslie Camilleri who became not only an accomplice but also an accelerant to Beckett's latent propensity for violence. Their pairing marked a disastrous pivot toward tragedy, with their combined lack of empathy and moral disengagement allowing them to commit crimes that shook the core of national consciousness. Delving deeper into this pivotal relationship provides essential insights into how two individuals could spiral so devastatingly out from society's bounds, showcasing the catastrophic potential when destructive personalities collide and feed off each other's worst impulses. Leslie Camilleri, a name synonymous with one of Australia's most sinister chapters, had a criminal history that painted a vivid picture of his path to infamy. Long before he became known as one half of the duo responsible for the Bega schoolgirl murders, Camilleri harbored tendencies and engaged in activities that foreshadowed the unimaginable horror he would later inflict. His journey into darkness was marked by escalating violence and an apparent disregard for human life, traits chillingly manifested in his numerous run-ins with law enforcement prior to the tragic events involving Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins. Camilleri's role in these heinous acts was not merely that of an accomplice. It was one rooted deep within a psyche scarred by years of deviance. As investigators delved into his past, they unveiled a disturbing pattern, from petty thefts to more ominous crimes indicating predatory behavior toward young women. This progression reflected not only his moral decay but also hinted at how calculated actions could culminate in tragedy. By understanding this trajectory, we begin to see how pivotal moments in Camilleri's life steered him irrevocably down a path where remorse seemed absent a factor crucial to comprehending both the motivation behind and execution of such unconscionable crimes against two innocent schoolgirls whose lives were mercilessly cut short. 
The chilling saga of the Bega schoolgirl murders begins with a misleading aura of normalcy. Two teenage girls, Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins, vanished into thin air on a cool October evening in 1997, sparking immediate concern amidst their tight-knit community. Leading up to that fateful day, both girls enjoyed an evening at a party among friends in rural New South Wales, an outing that tragically marked their final hours of freedom. This peaceful setting serves as a stark contrast to the nightmare that unfolded shortly after they decided to hitchhike home, a decision that led them directly into the path of Lindsay Beckett and Leslie Camilleri. As events spiraled rapidly out of control for Barry and Collins, so too did responses from law enforcement and the local community. In the aftermath, the weeks swelled with extensive search efforts. However, hope waned with each passing day devoid of leads. It was not until confessions were extracted from one murderer leading authorities to grim discoveries months later that some form of closure could begin forming. But such closure proved fragmented, raising critical discourse around preventative measures and highlighting grave lapses in safeguarding youth against predatory dangers lurking within seemingly benign environments. The post-murder era revealed an unsettling reflection on societal oversight concerning missing persons searches alongside systemic failures allowing dangerous criminals like Beckett and Camilleri mobility within communities unaware of their malignant potentials. Communities grappled with grief while pushing forward initiatives aimed at tightening security measures for vulnerable populations particularly youths thereby igniting widespread conversations about safety protocols during commutes involving hitchhiking or late-night travel amongst teens fostering increased awareness about personal security principles seeking resilience through education following such tragic loss marking pivotal shifts towards enhanced communal vigilance. In the meticulous quest to unravel the tragic end of Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins, a significant breakthrough in forensic science played a pivotal role. The investigation, initially hampered by the absence of tangible leads and witnesses, took a decisive turn with the implementation of cutting-edge forensic techniques. One notable aspect was the recovery and analysis of DNA evidence, which beckoned as a silent witness against Lindsay Beckett and Leslie Camilleri. Through careful collection from the crime scene nestled in remote bushland near Bega, forensic experts meticulously extracted vital clues that were otherwise mute testimonies to heinous acts committed under cover of darkness. Advancements in technology allowed investigators to paint a vivid picture of the sequence of events leading up to the chilling demise of two innocent lives. Innovative methods such as geographical profiling used data points generated from key locations associated with suspects shedding light on movement patterns that eerily corroborated victim accounts prior to their silence being forever imposed upon them by unspeakable violence. Furthermore, fiber analysis emerged as an understated hero. Microscopic fibers lifted from personal belongings connected these young souls' last known whereabouts directly back to their perpetrators. This webbing together wide-spun investigations underscored not only human diligence but also underscored how far society has leaned into science's embrace for justice's sake. The chilling saga of the Bega schoolgirl murders didn't just send shockwaves through the small town of Bega, but reverberated across the entire community and beyond. The sense of safety and trust within this close-knit locality was shattered as news of Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins' brutal murders spread like wildfire. Neighbors who once felt secure now cast wary glances at each other, haunted by the realization that such heinous acts could unfold in their own backyard. Parental fears intensified, with guardians clutching their children a little tighter, unwilling to let them out of sight for even a moment longer than necessary. While the impact on the community was profound, it pales in comparison to the devastation wrought upon the families of Lauren Barry and Nicole Collins. Their loved ones were thrust into an unending nightmare grappling with unfathomable grief while trying to make sense of a world suddenly turned upside down. What did you think of our story? Please let us know by leaving your comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch our other videos. Thank you. <laughs>